and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books. Today I'm going to be doing for you a little book haul of the books that I recently got on my booktube meetup um, with some booktubers in the city of London. There were 16 of us although there was 17 in total, 18 in total throughout people sort of like came and went and blah blah blah. Um, it was an incredible day, it was so lovely, it was so lovely to meet some of my internet friends um, that I've been chatting to for a while and had not ever met in real life. See how tall they are, see how many, what books they were buying and all that stuff. It was lovely, it was really, really fun. We had a great day, we went to loads and loads of bookshops. Now I did vlog a little, which I'm about to show you, but literally it's about two minutes of footage and the majority of that footage is me walking to the train station chewing really disgustingly on some chewing gum. So. So it's about that. Um, so I will insert that uh, vlog footage here and then we will get back to the books afterwards. Ding! Bye bye, David. Bye bye. Have See? a nice day. I hope you buy lots of books. Yeah, I hope you buy lots of books. Love you. Love you. Look at the glare on my glasses. Oh, my hand over the camera. Chewing gum's disgusting, isn't it? Just walking down in my flat, down to the front door. Then we're off to the station for a booktuber meetup, which is very exciting. Very, very, very excited. Hoping to get on an earlier train so I can get there a bit earlier. Also going to platform nine and three quarters, which I've never been to before. Out into the real world vlogging, never done this before. There are people around. So yeah, off to the station now. Exciting! So as I said earlier, um, it was such a lovely, lovely day and it was so nice to meet so many people and also meet people that I didn't even know had channels. So I've subscribed to like a whole hell of a lot of new channels, which is amazing. I'm going to link everybody um, who was there down below. Um, I'm going to link their channels down below. So if you want to check any of them, there is no sort of like chats with any of those people in the vlog, obviously, but like there were so many great channels there. So it's, it's worth going to check them all out. And I came home with a total of 10 books. So we went into um, a number of bookshops. I'll talk you through them as I go through the books that I've got. But before we even kicked off going to any bookshops, I was lucky enough. So we've got a little Voxer group and we were like, oh, we're all going to be going. Does anyone want these books? Does anyone want these books? I hadn't had a chance to sort out my bookshelf, so I had nothing to offer. Apologies. Um, but it was really good because I was able to get a couple of books. I've got one book off of Mercedes, which I will start with. So that is Foxlow by Eleanor Wasserberg. Um, and this is about, we are the family and Foxlow was our home. There was me, my name is Green, and my little sister Blue. There was October, who we called Toby, and Alencia, Dylan, Liberty, Pet and Egg. There was Richard, of course, who was one of the founders, and there was Freya. We were the family, but we weren't just an ordinary family. We were a new, better kind of family etc so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to reading this there's sort of been like lots of it was okay um chats about it on booktube but i i, I wanted to read this and mercedes was giving it up so i was like yes please i'll have that so i'd already arranged with mercedes to have that so um eleanor bought beauty is a wound by Ika kerny kerny um with her um and just in case anybody wanted it now i'd seen this about in the shops and knew that eleanor and uh, mercedes were doing this is covered in fluff a mini fluff um, and yeah so I've decided to give this a go I don't know when I'll get round to this um, it's about a, a prostitute coming back from the dead rising from her grave to avenge a curse placed on her family um, I don't know when I'll get round to reading this but I, I will read it at some point so um, yeah sounds really different to anything I've read before so those were the two books that fall off of. so the first bookshop we went into was Scoob um, which is a second hand bookshop which I hadn't been to before. On my Instagram um, page, I posted a wonderful picture of the tiled floor they had in there, which I was very impressed with. Loads and loads of secondhand books, like all like 
recent releases, everything. I've, I've got four books in there, I'll go through them now. So the first one is Lettuce Delma by Susan Miles. This is a Persephone book. I have three Persephone books now, haven't read any of them, disgusting of me. Um, this is um, a, a, a story, now it's written like, like a poem um, and it is, what I, the reason I, I picked it up is because it was to do with food <laughs> in the little bump. I was like, oh lovely. So the bit it says here that made me, that cemented the deal for me was, at length she ordered cutlet and green peas. The meat is gristly and the peas are dry. While she's picking at them gloomily, Halbert appears, flustered and out of breath. Halbert, so late, I do apologise. I trust no one's annoyed you. I was kept. A council meeting, I was interviewed, etc., etc. So I, I love Persephone books and just looking at them, I haven't read any of them yet, oh God. Um, that is gonna be something that I'm definitely gonna be doing this autumn, winter, reading my Persephone books. But this was a little bit shorter than the other ones I've got, so I was like, I can't really see. And it was secondhand and um, cheaper and in almost in perfect condition, so obviously I had to pick it up. So that was the first book I picked up. I also got uh, The Penelope Ad by Margaret Atwood. Um, this is something I've been meaning to pick up for a long, long time. So it is a, I believe it's a, a, it says here, a contemporary twist to the ancient story of the Odyssey by Homer. Um, it's absolutely published beautifully. It's got like this red text throughout and I really love the, the greyness of it all. And I'm, I'm looking forward to, and I had, I've had my eye on this for a while, so looking forward to reading that as well. Uh, the next book I picked up was some, oh look at all these, oh, I forgot I've got these in there as well. Listen, before we go in there, I also really like postcards and they had the penguin um, food postcards there. Uh, these were only a mere 25 pence each. So David and I like to have little postcards and we put them in frames and things. And I thought these would be really cool for the kitchen. There's good food from Sweden. Fabulous foods for people you love. And favourite Mexican cooking. No G. And then also I picked up some Scoob bookmarks, um, which was really, really sweet. The, the chassis was behind the shelves, so that was lovely. Um, I also picked up, I've been meaning to read this for a long time. So um, I run a book club at work and um, everybody that joined the book club puts in a book of a recommendation, their favourite book. It can be a lot of people put their favourite books in there. Now, one girl who, who wanted to join but never did join put her book in and it was um, A Fine Balance by Rohinta Mystery. It's fallen down there, which was shortlisted for the for the book prize. Now she had never ended up coming to any meetings, so the book had to be removed from the pile, as is the rules. Um, but I really, really wanted to read this, and had me been meaning to pick it up, but just kept forgetting, and then saw that it was in there for second. Uh, Second hand, so got that, very excited. Mercedes also said this is one of her favourite books, so it's really good. It's set in um, the 19, uh, 1970s in India, and it tells the story of four unlikely people whose lives come together during a time of political turmoil, soon after the government declares a state of na in internal emergency. So yeah, I'm looking forward to reading that. Massive though, isn't it? I'm gonna have to dedicate some time to that. The last book I got is by Deborah Levy. It is Swimming Home. Deborah Levy has, um, this book was shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize in 2012. Um, also, Hot Milk by her has been shortlisted this year, and I had that out from the library at the moment. Um, so I've, I've only heard good things about both of these books, um, so I really want to get around to reading both of them. So I thought, well, as I've got that coming up, I might have a little session and read both of them. And also, both not really that long, which is also a delight. I think both of them are under 200 pages, which is lovely. Look at me checking this. No, that one's not under 200 pages. This one is. Um, so yes, those are the ones I'm looking forward to reading. So that was in Scoob, which was absolutely lovely. Then we trotted along to the London Review Bookshop, which I've been to before. Um, it is lovely in there. It's got a really nice like feel in there, and they've got a nice bit downstairs where the non-fiction and the children's books are and things like that. And I had my eye, I'd, I've been meaning to get um, the, I've read the title zone this month and absolutely adored it by Sarah Moss. And I, know, I knew she'd done a non-fiction. Bloody hell, I mentioned a Mercedes so many times. And Mercedes said, when I read um, A Year of Living Danishly, Mercedes said to me, oh, you must read Names for the Sea, Strangers in Iceland by Sarah Moss. It's very different, but it's got the same sort of like, going to educate me slightly on the ways of another country. So I'd had this in the back of my mind for a long, long time. Hadn't actually made the link that it was written by Sarah Moss, who wrote The Tidal Zone. Um, and then when I was in there, I was like, oh, I must get that. And I knew I probably wouldn't be able to pick it up into, in a second-hand bookshop. So I had my eye on buying this either in London Review or Waterstones, but ended up buying it there. And I'm so pleased I did, because I got a signed copy as well. Look at me as if I'm proving it to you. I prove it to you, it's been signed. Um, so this tells, um, after the financial crisis in 2009, Sarah Moss and her husband move to Iceland with their two kids. Um, and yeah, it just talks through that. So I'm, I am looking forward to reading that. Oh God, I might read that really soon. Yeah, I've been definitely looking for a book to feel a sort of like educational relocation to another country 
story hole in my head and, and I think this is going to be it. So that's what we did in the London Review. Next we went to Wagamama's and had all had delicious Wagamama's, it was perfect, there was loads of us, we were all able to sit on one big long table, have a nice chat, that was very very nice. Then off we trotted to, oh shit I think I might get this, I think it was called All The Books, which is a second hand bookshop just off of, um, just near Foils, um, and it had loads of like review copies and arcs and things which was wonderful and I was able to get three, oh Minnie's just come out from under the sofa you little sneaky, have you been in your den? Um, I was able to get three books that I um, that I wanted to read for a while. So the first one is Shelter by Young Hoon, which I mean, uh, Joss is going to be delighted that I've got this. She's been telling me to read this for a long, long time. Um, and I've actually got it from the library at the moment. It's it's getting into the library now. But I, I saw this and it was £2. I was like, well, I must have it. Um, this tells the story. So this is about... Oh God. So this is about um, a chap who owns a house that he can't afford and um, he has to go about selling that house. And then I believe... Is this the one where... Um, they're viewing the new house or they're selling the house and somebody turns up in the garden and it's his mother and she's all like naked and bashed about and things. Um, so yeah, I've been, and Joss has been telling me to read this forever so I will definitely be reading that. So I bought that in that shop. Um, then I also got a short story collection which is Lucy Caldwell Multitudes. Um, there's 11 stories in here. Uh, it says here, from Belfast to London and back again, the 11 stories that comprise Caldwell's first collection explore the many facets of growing up, the pain and the heartache. The tenderness and the joy, the fleeting and the formative, the drunkenness of things being various, stories of longing and belonging, they culminate with a heart wrenching and unforgettable title story. So yeah, that is very exciting. And triangles are my favourite shapes, so there we go. And then finally, uh, The House Between Tides by Sarah Main. Um, I was compelled to pick this up because it says here that it is a mixture between Daphne du Maurier and Beatrix Potter, I believe, and I really, oh, it's published by Freight as well, I didn't realise that. Um, and I've really, really enjoyed reading, Daph I've only read one Daphne du Maurier. I read um, Jamaica Inn earlier this month and adored it. I've also got Rebecca and um, Frenchman's Greek to read as well, but I thought this would be a really great one. And I was um, pushed into buying this by some other booktubers. So those are the shops we went to. We also went to Foils and to Waterstones. Waterstones we went into, which I don't actually know where it was because it's wonderful Waterstones, which had a bar downstairs. And we just sat in there and had a really nice catch up. Um, which was lovely. It was just the perfect day and everyone was so lovely and everyone was so just nice and wonderful. It was just really, really nice to get to meet people and I can't wait to meet up with everybody again. So those are the books I bought when I was uh, bought or got given while I was on my um, booktube meetup with the with the pals. Um, let me know if you've read any of them um, and I will see you all again soon with another booktube video.